and uh, let me just try to give him a call. He's really not expecting my call, so he might not even pick up. I didn't give him any heads up. Uh, but if he picks up, it'll be interesting because I, I won't tell him for a, few, for a bit. Um, I'll let him say any deep, dark secrets. And what's interesting is he's kind of in the social media news because of his um, um, uh, tweet that was towards b Flow and b Flow responding also, looking at artists and getting to do the campaign songs and one person in this case here who is in inverted commas standing with the people and um Nes Long feeling a bit disrespected or feeling like the artists who did the campaign songs are being disrespected by Biflo. So there's that to it. So I hope he's not thinking I want to call him about that. I genuinely just want to wish him happy birthday. We'll talk about those other things later. So I'll call using my phone. I would have used the landline, but I'll use my phone. Um, um so that we can get that juicy Hello Boss Boss What it do, what it do? How you doing man? Easy bro, how you doing? Not bad, uh having a good day? <laughs> yeah, it's been a great day. Yeah. yeah it's been a great day, it's been awesome, yeah. Yeah. It's sound it's sound like it's already it's already happening. Yeah, no, just easy chill. Mm. Yeah having a drink with the guys at home ah at home mm. so I, I i need to pass by isn't it <laughs> all right nez it's good you haven't said anything bad because you are live on radio right now <laughs> wow <laughs> you're live on radio <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah man look i just said you know what let me call Nes long i actually didn't think you'd pick up i thought ah obviously chili you won't even have time to pick up but uh that was quite fast now it sounds like it was being planned <laughs> I imagine yeah man but, uh, happy birthday thank you thank you bro i'm really really grateful i'm grateful Mm. I know they say yeah, ladies don't don't say their age, but uh people probably wondering how is Nez turning this time around? Manega me, I'm very I'm very open and I would I would tell you everything as it is yeah, I'm thirty years old. Ah <laughs> big thirty, dirty thirty. Yeah, dirty thirty. Yeah. Yeah, man. How does that feel so far? I mean, uh with with look, looking at your career now and what you've been able to do over the years, how does it feel getting into a new age? It feels great. I must say God has been good to me, bruh. Mm. Yeah, not taking anything for granted. There's a lot of things that I haven't gone right in my life. There's a lot of things that got messed up along the way. But the most important thing is whatever there was a there was there was once upon a time it sounded like a joke. I had a goal to be where I am right now. Ah. Nine years ago. And I must say God has abundantly blessed me beyond what I actually prayed for. You know what I mean? Mm. And I cannot, I can, I, I can only be thankful. Mm. Definitely. Being here, being here and hustling and come trying, wanting more because every time you attain a new level, you just want more of everything. Mm. I, would, I would, I would, I would wish for more, but honestly speaking, God has been good to me. Ah, great, great yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. and I know you're celebrating your birthday this year. Amidst a lot of controversy, I don't want to get too much into the politics of all that. But um, let's let's hope it's not affecting your your birthday celebrations. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm saying I know you're celebrating your birthday this time around. Amidst a lot of controversy with the campaign song you did, and obviously the tweet with B Flow earlier yeah. on today. But uh, I hope that's not affecting your your celebrations tonight. Sad. If it don't make money, then it don't make sense. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're, you're enjoying it with, uh, with with the new money. What? I'm saying you're enjoying it with your new money. No, mm. no, <laughs> bro. Uh, whatever money is coming in mm. is is not new. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like, or oh, at least there's more now. There's definitely more now. Yeah, yeah, but that's 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 just other money, but mm. it's not new. Yeah, it's not new. I, we've been working too hard, and people w- will only disrespect us over something that is that is uh, another another part of our hustling. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I'll tell you this up front, mm. Shumweka. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't ask me this question right now if you were not doing it for your job and your relevance too. Mm. Mm. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, we all want to eat and we all want to be relevant and we all want to make money. Mm-hmm. So even if Nango Mundo Abuera goes as in Vabani, Nabani, 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 at the end of the day, what you do for a living, if what you do for a living doesn't make you money, regardless of your client, then you're not working. But where, 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 where do the people come in now? Because yes, you are trying to make money, but aren't you also worried about the people who created this following that people are now trying to tap into? Aren't you also putting them into consideration? They're always into consideration. Here's the thing. A staunch follower of my music, somebody who understands where I am, where I'm from, where I started from, my fan is not just a follower who just likes my page. You know what I mean? Mm. Some people go to like my page to just see whether I've uploaded, I've uploaded something that they, they, they can easily criticize. And apparently social media now has become about the coolest negative um, <laughs> the coolest negative uh, Post. comment, mm. yeah, gets the most likes, and they feel like they're as famous as we are. Mm. Sorry to say that, but yeah, truth be told, these people, the staunch followers, know what they what they like a person for, what they why they follow their music. So at the end of the day, if I'm gonna lose my staunch followers, like the people that really love me, because I made a move that is supposed to make me money. And then because I believe in a certain type of uh, thing, then I cannot do anything because at the end of the day, sometimes some of these people, the only reason they'll follow you, they can't, some people who are even actually putting up all these comments can't even, have never even bought any ticket or a CD or anything of mine. You know what I mean? Mm. I appreciate those who genuinely want to question my decision making because they've actually followed me and they've actually helped me make money throughout this through this this music. But at the end of the day, most of this, if you took if you look at the analysis, you know what I mean. We always we we I just didn't come into this music industry a damn person not knowing what I'm doing. You know what I mean. Mm. We do, there's we have to, you have to analyze. You just can't. You just can't do make decisions without considering who has put you on and who has done what and who has done what. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, they should also, people should also understand. Sometimes, I'll tell you something. Uh, when people grow together, they can they will always fight. So if me and my fans are growing together to a certain level, we will fight because we will not always agree on the same thing. But the fact that I can, I can, I can, I can explain what I am doing, and they come to an, under, an understanding that this is not a just just a selfish move for myself. They they will pick it up from there, and then we just get back on a level-headed um, speed. You know what I mean? Mm. But there's just some people who who will always talk because it's cool to talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And anyway, um, um, speaking of talking, I know you and I can talk more about this. Uh, I know you've got a lot to say, but we'll, we'll give you a proper platform for you to speak and just air out everything you have to say about this issue. Uh, but I just want to call you and wish you happy birthday live on air with uh, the listeners. Um, but two things before we actually let you go. So one, you're going to spend the rest of the night home tonight. Definitely. All right. That's number one. Number two, I need you to give me two songs that we should play. One um, can be your favorite song. We've already played Palanga Shet, so that one is going to be out. So you can pick any one of your favorite songs. <laughs> and um, uh, one by any of your favorite local artists, your all-time favorite Zambian song. Okay. Like uh, one of my all-time favorite songs mm. of all time mm-hmm. is... Uh, Nombanishi by Slap. And then, uh, my very own, like, my, my own song that really, even just from the start of this year, I've just decided this is like my theme song for the rest of the year. Even if I drop any other song along the way, I themed the rest of this year and centered it around the song. is W. W-W, W-W, W-W. 